Hello and welcome to Neonto Studio Pro. Today we're gonna create a project with scrolling content. Uh, let's create a new project. Let's call this scroll flow. And here's the main screen. First, let's import an image. Or as a, uh, this image will work as a header, so let's use it like this, and let's attach this image from left to right. And well, it looks good like that. Then let's say change the background color. Double click background, select the color, let's use white back okay now you can see there is an element group called scroll flow everything inside this group uh, scrolls and pushes elements uh, under the first element to the bottom of the screen so first uh, let's add key lines for the text so this is key line left and key line right like this and then just uh, then next we're gonna add just a short title text like this finish Finland. and I'm going to attach this text block from left side to key line left and from right side to key line right and let's add a let's change the font a little bit let's use uh, something fancy like this I can put it a little bit bigger okay so this block is now on the foreground element group but we're gonna drag it to scroll flow and as you can see it disappeared but it's under the image so let's just select the text block and I'm gonna drag it here so this is the top element in the tech, uh, scroll flow group and then let's add some longer text like this I have copy pasted some lips on here also attach this from key line left right key line right as you can see if i move it it doesn't affect the finland here but if i drag this text block under the scroll uh, header element in scroll flow as you can see if i move header also the lipsum text moves but this lipsum text is under the heater and I can move it without that it affects on the heater so everything in scroll flow pushes elements under the block down so as you can see and because the image is on the foreground group everything on scroll flow will go under it if I scroll it so let's just run this the simulator okay so now you can see it I can scroll it and if I want to move this text a little bit closer and then move this a little bit closer to the image and just easily do that so let's see what happens okay so you can see so this is the way how you can create scrolling content add scrolling content to your screens and uh, create whatever kind of pages you want if I add any elements 
the screen like button here. I have to drag it to scroll flow. So now you can see it's it's, it's under the scroll uh, under the text element here. If I put it between the elements, then it's here. And this also pushes the text down, and this pushes everything below it down. Yeah. So let's see what happens now. Okay, thank you. That's the that's the way how you can do scrolling content with Nando Studio.